Welcome everybody out there here to our next uh, webinar about uh, JFT Invest, improve your investing experience. A warm welcome in the name of JFT Bank as well, and of course in my name, Stefan Friedrichowski. As always, for those webinars all around uh, JFT Invest and other stuff uh, from time to time, but uh, that talking about uh, JFD Invest we do uh, on a weekly basis, and it's a pleasure for me to have you all here uh, to that webinar today. Did I mention the date already? Uh, I will do. Uh, 2nd of August uh, 2019, 10 o'clock a.m. at least uh, Central Europe summertime, uh, wherever you are, uh, it might be a different one. We talk about JFT Invest today, and JFT Invest, just to introduce it, is a digital wealth management platform uh, which can be used by you personally. And it's a little bit different than other social trading platforms or other kind of wealth management because you are still 100% involved. You have the opportunity to select between different pre-selected strategies at JFD Invest and then follow those strategies, which finally means that trades are copied, mirrored into your account according to your preferences. So you act as the portfolio manager, which is really quite a cool job, I can tell you. So that's JFD Invest about. And what we do today is I will introduce a few things, highlights of last week, as always. Then uh, we look to JFD Invest in more detail, and I will explain a little bit around at least how I do my uh, selection procedures and how I do the kind of uh, money allocation and so on. And finally, we will look into my JFD Invest account because I have a personal one since the very beginning of JFD Invest, and it's always good to see how that improved over the last 10 months. And um, today I will change a little bit, uh, and uh, therefore you will see exactly those steps, like stopping a strategy within JFD Invest and investing into new strategies that I will share with you as well. Good. Finally, uh, before I really start, I you know the procedure. I have always to show the risk disclaimer at least once during a webinar. That's an obligation uh, by law. And therefore, uh, of course, I do. What is um, that page talking about? It's uh, we talk about investment. We talk about trading. Uh, but finally, whatever you do, you do it on your own, on your own responsibility. I think that's quite um, self-explaining. But it has to be mentioned at least once during a webinar. So let's have a view on the highlights of last week. The highlights of last week definitely have been uh, the strategy uh, gold mine, and that uh, strategy has earned uh, about 9% just in one week. And uh, you see already in the small picture, we can later go to a bigger one uh, if you like. Uh, that was really a, a, a huge um, uh, increase here. And on the other hand, tells you a little bit that the strategy is, to some extent, risky. And that you can see already on the history of the chart. But overall, the growth is fantastic, no question. Uh, so that's really good. And um, but nevertheless, you will see later, I will take out that strategy out of my JFT Invest portfolio. And uh, we'll replace it to some other ones, which are not that risky um, like Oakman. But on the other hand, it's a top uh, strategy. It's perfect. Has earned lots of money during the last 24 mo uh, four months. Um, so really good. And you see the other ones, Gold Rush, which is a conservative one as well. And Brimstone are heading the uh, top performance list of uh, last week. So before we Further go into the details of that kind of strategy, let me introduce a little bit more in general um, JFD Invest um, because uh, that you really know what we are talking about here. So you find JFD Invest on the JFD homepage and there you go for investing and then you are 
already almost in um, JFD Invest. So it's quite easy. And now you see um, you see performance of the top uh, performers here in that uh, table, and that table is updated uh, once a day. And you see, we are really talking about high performance strategies. So you see, Hyperion was 84%. And right now, we have a condition, that I can tell you, which is perfect for Hyperion. Hyperion has had a problem, little problems last couple of weeks. And the reason was uh, the strategy is invested uh, short in indices like DAX and Dow Jones. And as you might know, I mean, just the view of the chart is telling you, oops, right now, last couple of days, at least since federal uh, bank decision this week, <clears throat> the markets go down. And that's perfect for strategy Hyperion. So um, we can look to that as well, because it's really interesting to see how that strategy recovers. And uh, yeah, if that step down in the indices goes further, then it will not take much time anymore to be back at 100% growth for that strategy. But what you can see else here is already there's risk, risk involved. And that is what is called here equity balance deviation. That is a floating minus of open trades. That was a really short definition, but that's just the complete definition. So if you have open trades and those are minus, you can can calculate that in percentage of your account, and that is exactly equity balance deviation. But on the other hand, it means, okay, you have that losses in your account, at least floating. You don't know where it comes to an end with those trades. So on the one hand, strategy is risky, earning 80%, great. On the other hand, risky. So, and now it's exactly as always, it comes to your preferences. If you accept that risk, the strategy is perfect for you. If you don't like something like drawdowns or equity balance deviations in the region of 40%, okay, then you should go for other strategies which are around as well. Sometimes it's a little bit like mm, the more performance, the more risk. Um, in general, I'm right with the statement. I, you cannot prove it individual with those few numbers, but it goes exactly in that kind of uh, direction. Okay, so you have the top performers. To go into JFD Invest for you is quite easy. What you can always do, you can use the guest access, and um, then you can see more details. Or you sign up, and that means signing up in the West profile. Uh, then you might open a JFD Invest account. You connect the two, and then you can start uh, following uh, those kind of strategies. So let's at least partly do the steps here. So guest access. So the good thing is then you can see more than uh, the five strategies. We have in total 16, so there's a second page. And um, as you can see, Hyperion um, really get uh, heading that list. Let me press Hyperion because then we can see a little bit more about what I've mentioned already. And you see we have a, a quite good growth here uh, already at the end. And I would um, assume that next week, top performer, when I talk about those numbers, that will be Hyperion uh, because exactly of uh, that increase here at the very end. And uh, we see that the equity balance deviation of that strategy is getting smaller. Let me go for that figure because that's really interesting. And you see already here, yeah, now we are back here at 20% level. Um, Maximum short term has been 31 or 33, uh, or maximum overall 40%. So once again, those are floating losses, open trades, in minus in this case. In principle, it could be a positive number. So, um, but then in this case, this will stop at zero. But anyhow, um, it has to do with your preferences. If such a temporary loss is, let's say, too much for you, then you would avoid that kind of strategy. Um, on the other hand, the overall growth is really fantastic um, because you have to look to the scale. I mean, uh, we have been already at the 110% level with that strategy, 
and uh, that within a little bit more than a year. So the strategy um, is now about one and a half year um, at uh, working on a live uh, account. So yeah, it's a real good, fantastic uh, strategy. If you are interested in traded instruments, um, just pressing that button, then you see yeah, most trades are DAX and Dow Jones, and uh, number of executed trades in the history is already exceeding the 2000 uh, trade level. So there's statistics behind, which is always good. Let's look around for other strategies and uh, play around with key figures here, because I mentioned already equity balance deviation, so it's some kind of a drawdown. Okay, good to know. Um, the maximum drawdown could be even higher. Uh, because it depends on other uh, uh, circumstances. But now let's have a view of gold mine because that has been the performer of last week. And um, you see the overall growth of that strategy. Okay, there was a drawdown phase here. And finally, uh, we have had that step down, but we covered, so everything is good. And um, what's always good to know is additionally, if you look for the equity curve, and you see here that, that looks a little bit different from the overall growth. So let, let me switch between the two. So growth, okay, back to equity. Well, there are more steps. And is this literally one, one, that one, the big step down here. Focus your eyes on that one. And then back to growth. Nothing. Okay, what does it mean? Simple. There was a withdrawal. So the, the master trader, so the, 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 the guy behind that uh, account decided to take out some money. And in this case, it was 962 euros and six cents. Okay. I mentioned that ex uh, uh, expressively because you can interpret that just by comparing growth and equity. And it's important to see that as well. So the overall growth of the, um, that was really good. And you see the monthly return table, which uh, looks quite good as well. And finally, traded instruments. You see that is already a portfolio in itself, uh, trading about 13 different instruments and um, not equally distributed, but uh, yeah, lots of trades once again. So that was a top performer of last week. Good. Um, to see differences between the different kind of strategies, let me show you one additional one, uh, which I like as well. That is a forex gun, and you have a totally a little bit different picture here. And let's look to the growth of a forex gun. Um, so it's really straight. Okay, there have been those floating losses. You learn about that, and uh, they have been recovered. Overall, 10% was the maximum value. In total, we see a complete green monthly return table, which is fantastic in itself. I mean, pff, uh, to have uh, yeah a monthly return table with only green numbers, and that for one and a half year is really uh, something quite good. Let me introduce a few other things like details. And what's interesting or what you, you should know is with any strategy, there's always a minimum investment sum involved. And in this case, it's 3,400 euro. So we can only go with that minimum number. And the other number I do not want to hide is that there's a performance fee involved of 25%. And how does that that work? It's quite easy. It's a, um, a performance based on high watermark. And that means that only if your followed strategy reaches new highs on a month's end space, then you would have to pay uh, that performance fee. High watermark. That finally means if you further follow that strategy, only if there are new highs, then at the month's end base, then you would have to pay. If you step out before the month's end, okay, then uh, if you have highs, then you have to pay at that point in time. So you cannot avoid by not being invested at the month's end. Uh, but I think you assumed that uh, by your own. Back to the strategy. So really, it looks great. Um, 
then let's look for the trailed instrument. Oh, that's just one. That is Euro, US dollar. Okay. Um, so that's uh, really major. And the good thing is we can have a look on that strategy absolutely in detail. So we go can go here for the master account of that strategy. And here we are. That is the master account of that strategy. Um, because I'm responsible, therefore I can share with that with you. And you see, well, the green lines are all um, profitable trades, sometimes com combined with red lines. So uh, the strategy has opened so-called trade sequences, and um, therefore we have different entry points for, for additional trades, but all end at a central point like here and that was the final take profit of the trade and you can see those kind of behavior or those kind of drawings here several times and that's the way the strategy is earning its money as we speak there's one low trade uh, that's a long trade um, and the logic here is really easy uh, you see that EMBA and after the last trade sequence has ended okay that was a point to decide, hey, uh, which one, uh, which trade direction should we go for? Since we have been below the EMA and the strategy is a so-called counter strategy, it's opening a trade uh, reverse, meaning in this case, a long trade um, back to the EMA. And that was the point in time to open a long trade um, here. Okay, the long trade is uh, at least uh, temporarily in the profit region. Good, and you see already take profit is here. That's the way how the strategy works, um, and uh, that is Forex gun. Good. Finally, uh, let me go back to the internet page. Uh, let me have a view on one additional strategy. So we have in mind Forex gun. Uh, we need 3,400 euros. And I want to show you another quite conservative strategy uh, or two other ones. Uh, one is PowerFX and the other one is uh, Vulcano. PowerFX is a really quite conservative one. And um, Vulcano, we will see in a second, as mm, trading just one instrument, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Uh, interesting as well. But now let's go back. Oh, let's go into my personal JFD Invest account. Mentioning those kind of names of uh, strategies, of course, um, uh, has a meaning already. So now, because I want to, to go into those kind of strategies with my master account here, uh, with my uh, JFD Invest account, you see, we have still, we are good, profitable, uh, with close to 25% gross profits, <clears throat> which is really good. And Okay, we have had steps down. We are in the recovery, which is good. There was one additional one um, because there was really something special in a strategy. But anyhow, I can go and can live with that because uh, if I still have 25% gross profit, it's a fantastic result. And I'm looking to the months, uh, to the year's end. Um, yeah, in short time. I mean, September, end of September, we have one year history with that account. So let's be a little bit conservative. I think that's a good idea. Let's start with the current allocation. And you see, okay, Archimedes is mm, good, uh, has open trades. You can see that uh, by comparing balance and equity. So those are the five I'm invested in. And we have a good situation right now. Gold mine is not invested. You can see because balance and equity um, equal. And uh, then, of course, uh, and that, that means I will stop gold mine here because I want it to be a little bit uh, less risk affine. Still, I like the strategy, absolutely. Um, but uh, because we, we go into the year end, uh, therefore, let's uh, change a little bit. So uh, now that strategy is uh, being stopped or at least close to be being stopped, I hope. It will show up in a second, uh, still uh, under action, uh, because we need that money. I think unallocated. Okay, there it is already. So we can already invest into new strategies. Um, that's good. So let me go back to allocation, and then we can do our decisions. 
So unallocated amount, 3,200. Okay, you remember, I would like to go into Forex gun, but then I, I'm missing 200 euro uh, for that because um, in order to invest into that strategy. Okay, if Forex gun is not possible, then let's go for two others. And we go for PowerFX and we go for Volcano. Let's start with PowerFX. And you see what I mean with conservative. There's growth. Okay, it's not a, a, a Hyperion strategy with um, close to 100% in, in two years, but it has its growth. Okay, then let's follow. That's easy. How to do? Um, it's just pressing that button, follow. And you see um, amount to allocate. So we, we, we can invest um, some certain amount. We have in total 3,200 available. So <coughs> then I can think uh, to invest here 1,500, so about half of that. You can apply risk management if you like. Let me explain what that means. Um, risk management means strategies are stopped out automatically reaching a certain um, loss level. If you put the slider, for example, to 50% and you invest 1,500 euros into this strategy, it would mean after you have losses, floating losses, whatever, of 750 euro, then all open trades for that strategy are closed and the strategy is stopped uh, in your account. You might like it or you might not like it to have that kind of mechanism. Um, so I cannot give you a good, good recommendation about that. It's according to your preferences. In this case, and for that strategy, uh, I can uh, stick to those numbers and then I can follow uh, PowerFX. And you see how easy it is um, being a portfolio manager and just clicking around and you can do that kind of job wherever you are. And you just need access to the internet and that's all. You can do exactly those steps if you like, uh, in front of the beach, even there, no problem. Going back to the overview of strategies, and I said, okay, I like Vulcano as well. Um, I know there has been a quite risky phase for that strategy in the near past. <coughs> okay, but um, the time is over, I think so. The strategy is trading exclusively Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. And what's always good is if situation comes down, calms down for that strategy. And that we have. So therefore, I would like to follow that strategy as well. And uh, minimum amount is uh, 700. That's no problem for us here. Let's go um, with uh, 100, <coughs> sorry, um, with uh, 1,000. 100 euro into that one. Uh, I have something in mind, and uh, therefore, ah, no, let me check again. No, the intention was 1500, and I do risk allocation as well at the 50% level here. And that's, I will show you why it will change that a little bit to a number like 60%. Uh, that has to do with the uh, drawdown, the overall drawdown of that strategy, and I want to uh, have that space here as well, and that's about 60%. And then I follow Vulcano. Um, isn't it fantastic how you can uh, just do the job as a portfolio manager here with a few mouse clicks? That's really fantastic. But it, what, at least from my point of view, quite important is to do that kind of review process. So back to what I mentioned, what has been here the highest difference between equity and balance in the past, and that's in the order of 800 euros. And therefore, I would like to have that, let's call it space, um, uh, in my risk allocation. That was the reason for uh, that kind of decision. We have a good overview, um, and you 
I think you have to do that kind of very process by your own because preferences are different, expectations levels of returns are different. And all those have to be taken into account to do my final portfolio. That is a kind of recommendation I can give you. I always go for a portfolio of followed strategy because I don't like the situation to be just in one and depending on the one, no, it's much better to be invested in several and to be diversified. And um, that protects yourself uh, and your money. And therefore, diversification is always a good thing to do. So that's for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the webinar. And we have already Friday, so it's time to, to um, send out the, the message, message that please enjoy the weekend. At least I will do, definitely. And see you back next week for additional webinars. Have a good time. Bye-bye.